What's going on YouTube, it's Gadgets Boy and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be checking out the brand new Huawei Mate 20 Lite. So I'm going to unbox this and show you guys what to expect if you were to pick one of these up. So before we get into the box, let's just run through some of the specifications so you guys know what to expect. You have a 6.3 inch 19.5 by 9 Full HD Plus display with Huawei Full View. Uh, it's, it's running Android 8.1 with EMUI 8.2 overlay, which is powered by Huawei's 12 nanometer Kirin 710 chipset. For graphics, you get Mali G51, and that's one gigahertz graphics processor. For storage, you get 64 gig, and it's also got four gigs of RAM. The 64 gig storage, you can expand it using a 256 gig micro SD card. That's up to you. So if you can't afford a 256 gig, you can always get a lower one to get more memory, more storage uh, for your device. Also bear in mind that this is a review sample and the all UK devices would get three pin plug in the box. There's a 3,750 milliamp power battery there as well, which should keep you powered all day long. For camera, you get a main 20 megapixel camera with two megapixel camera, both colors at f1.8 aperture. And it supports autofocus with PDAF and contrast focus as well. Uh, for front facing camera, there's a 24 megapixel with color and two megapixel color as well. Uh, so you got a dual camera set up on the front as well with f2.0 aperture. So you should get enough lights coming in for those low light photography and it supports a fixed uh, focal length as well. Again, this is nice and wide, so you'll be able to get a lot of people in. So if you're gonna get your group selfies in there, you'll be able to do that kind of stuff. For the Huawei Mate 20 Lite though, I think at the launch event, there was a lot of mention, a lot of talk about AI. So there's a lot of AI in action on this device. It goes from the camera to the actual software to the system wide support itself. So some of the AI supported features includes AI shopping assistance. So when you see something, when you're browsing, for example, you can do a long press on the particular image and it will take you to like somewhere like Amazon to find out where you can buy that stuff from. You got enhanced communication as well. So again, you got AI noise cancellation for when you make phone calls, which is really good. Uh, you got curated albums, which is smart gallery, again, powered by AI. You got AI game suite as well, which is really cool. It just means that you get a better experience when gaming it automatically uh, switches between 4G and Wi-Fi for the best gaming experience. And you've got a smart alert system when you're gaming. You've got 360 degree face unlock, which is pretty quick. In fact, it's one of the quickest I've seen on a smartphone. When it comes to photography, you've got AI powered system as well. So it will, it will be able to recognize the scenario to give you the best photography possible. You've got HDR Pro, which also uses raw image data to create improved uh, imaging for you. So you get better photos on the go. You got 3D emoji, 3D portrait lighting. Again, I will go through some of this lot in a bit more detail in the next video when we go through the device in much more detail. Again, with the rear camera for intelligent uh, shooting experience, you got up to actually over 500 scenarios in 22 ca uh, categories, including portrait, blue sky, snow, Asian buildings, fireworks, etc. So when you're taking pictures of your pet, for example, the phone is intelligent enough to pick up the scenario and the object and the subject rather. You've also got smart composition. So again, this is something I really actually quite like when they were talking about it. It's something I'm looking forward to trying out a bit more. So again, it just helps you frame your photos better. So you get straight shots, you get better composed shots as well. You get AI enhanced uh, bokeh effects as well. Again, something that I'm looking to try out. You've also got super slow motion as well. So you can shoot at 480 frames per second and then play it back at 16 times slower which you add a bit of drama to, you, to the video, to the scenario of what you're shooting. For pricing and availability, uh, the Huawei Mate 20 Lite will be available for purchase for £379, which is very competitive and bringing AI to everyone at an affordable price point. You can get it from Car from Warehouse, Vodafone, and it will be available from EE from October as well in the UK. For other regions, do check out Huawei's website for pricing and just shop around. Anyway guys, do let me know what you think of the Huawei Mate 20 Lite. Drop a comment below. In the meantime, I'm Tommy. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.